Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to Blue Palm Tech. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And today we're gonna talk about port numbers. So we're gonna talk about what ports you need to know for the CompTIA Network Plus. There's a lot, but I think these are the ones that are very important. So the first one, it's gonna be, here we go. DHCP, Dynamic Host Protocol. Now that is port 67 and 68. There you go, 67 and 68. So let's talk a little bit about DHCP. It's a Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. That's the acronyms, DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a protocol that provides automatic configuration of an IP address, subnet mask, optional DNS service, and the remote gateway to the network device. So that is DHCP. DHCP operates in a connectionless state because during the process, the client does not yet have an established IP. So that's the definition and here's a little, I'm not sure if you can tell. So the source, so the source uh, UDP is at 68 and when it comes back, it comes back at 67. The destin okay my bad, destination, source UDP is 68, destination is 67. So as you can see, let me know if you would like to learn more about DHCP, I'll definitely make another video on it. But these are just port numbers. So remember, port 67 and 68 for DHCP. Up next is gonna be RDP. RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol. Its port number is 3389, 3389. It is a Microsoft protocol used for connecting to another Microsoft computer or server for remote admin. RDP has been built into Microsoft OS system and it is built into Microsoft OS system in Microsoft MSTSC.exe. Here you go. Okay. So you guys, if you really find this content useful, go ahead and leave a, leave a comment on what you wanna see next. Okay, next card is Telnet. Now uh, let's see if it can focus, Telnet. Port number 23. Telnet is an op a protocol that allows remote administrators of a network device through a text-based console. So pretty much you can connect through a remote administrator network. It's not as secure as other applications, but it communicates via port number 23. The next one right here, let's see if it can focus. Yeah, it focused pretty quick, is SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol. The port number for this one is port 22. It is a secure transfer protocol that is used uses the SSH inner workings. So there you go. Remember the number is port 22. Here you go. And again, I apologize for my writing. It's very sloppy. So if you don't understand it, uh, let me know and I can rewrite these in the computer and share a link through Quizlet, I believe. I might do it to Quizlet, but let me know. Only if you guys put a comment down below to digitize these flashcards. Next one is POP. Like popcorn, but it stands for Postal Office Protocol and it is port number 110. It is a legacy protocol, but it's still used on the internet. POP allows email clients, mail user agents, also known as MUAs, to log in and retrieve emails. It doesn't work well with multi 
email clients. So that's pop. Remember, port number 110. There you go. Okay. The next protocol is going to be a oh, port number. It's going to be secure shell. Secure shell is port number 22 is a cryptographic protocol that is used to remotely administer Linux servers and network equipment through a text console. SSH uses a public cryptology to authenticate and encrypt network access from the remote computer, preventing the password from being displayed in clear text after all the network transmission are encrypted. So this is like Telnet, but it's more secure due to encryption. That might be very sloppy, but that's pretty much definition. The next one is S. Let's see. Hold up. Let's focus first. The next one is SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. It is port. 161 it is a protocol used for management of server and network devices smp can be used to collect data from server and network devices such as memory bandwidth that data is read from a central network station known as nms the nms is all, is then responsible for arranging data into acceptable display this will create a baseline of its performance this is simple network management protocol so you guys it's pretty much gonna tell you how your network is performing so this is very important and it runs on port number 161 okay let's move on to the next one oh let's let's do this one first because the next one is pretty similar is HTTP a lot of you guys probably heard of this it's used on on browsers and it's hypertext transfer protocol it is port number 80 so I'm gonna go ahead and display this one right here side by side because it's the same thing but different it's HTTPS the S should be bigger than that I don't know why I did it so this one is on port 80 and this one right here is on port 443 so so for port 80 is an application protocol for the web data communication when the web page is requested from a web server an HTTP request is made for a hypertext markup language there you go and then the definition for uh, HTTPS is Hypertext Transfer Protocol over SSL is an application for the web data communication. It will encrypt these transfers via a secure socket layer. That's what SSL means, secure socket layer. We can do a whole video on secure socket layer. Just leave it in the comments below. And then we have this protocol. Uh, let's see if you can focus. It's known as SIP or also known as SIP is session initiation protocol. This one runs in two ports. It runs on port 5060 and 5061. It is a communication protocol for the step up of signaling of VoIP, voice over IP calls. The SIP protocol does not transfer the media. It only assists in setting up the media stream for a communication center. So this is not responsible for transferring it's just like setting up the call almost like a phone call you know I'm gonna head and dial the number three two three one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the other side of the telephone is gonna ring that's pretty much what SIP is so let's go ahead and continue reading uh, it says VoIP is a private branch exchange also known as PX uh, manufactured and functionality to SIP is on the UDP port 5060 and it could encrypt on port 5061 using TSL and can be changed to TCP if needed. So port 5061 is a secure version of this protocol. Okay, remember that. 
Then we're gonna go to the next protocol, you guys. Uh, uh, it's not focusing. Let's see if it can focus. The next protocol is IMAP or IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol. This one has two protocols. It can, I mean, two port numbers. It can run on port uh, 143 or it can run on port 993 for a secure version. It is used to allow clients to retrieve and read an email on an email server. IMAP allows for multiple email clients to access the same email box simultaneously. IMAP is also used for flags on messages so that email clients can keep track of which email are read or unread. IMAP over SSL operates on TCP 993 so that's the secure version you can see it right sorry right there now this is um, the other one we were talking about was about pop now pop had trouble uh, accessing the the email server with multiple clients now this is a solution to that now there's different versions of IMAP there's IMAP version 3 and IMAP version 4 each of them have their their upgrades so their advantages but this is just a general life let's go to the next one um, here we go is SMB server message block it runs on port number 445. This is protocol enables your device to communicate with remote computers or services. Or servers, my bad. SMB lets you share files. So there you go. There you go. So this protocol enables your device to communicate with remote computers. So this is, I think, for Cisco. Don't quote me on that, but it's like the equivalent to RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. But RDP was uh, specifically used for Microsoft. And this one, it's a common one. If you're studying network, you'll see this one all the time. It's File Transfer Protocol, port number 20 and port number 21. It consists of a control channel and data channel. Operates in two modes, active and passive. Now, we're not going to get uh, into that, but it pretty much transfers files. So it's a, a, control, a control connection handles all FTP commands. So there you go, you're going to see it right there. Now we're going to get more into FTP later. And here we go, we have SMTP. This is another uh, mail protocol. It's a simple mail transfer protocol. It is a protocol used by a mail, mailing transfer agent, M, also known as MTA, to deliver mails to a destination email servers. The email protocol is used only in the process of delivering email to email servers. Port number 25. Now this one doesn't communicate with uh, clients. It only communicates with email servers. So email servers to email servers, okay? Remember that. Then we have another common port number. This one's very common and very important. It is DNS, Domain Name Service. Port number 53. It is a distributed, distributed directly from domain resource records. The resource records are primarily used in translating fully qualified domain names, also known as FQDNS. So it translates, uh, let's say, for example, www.cypex.com. It will transfer it to an IP address of 208.215.1. One hundred thirty-two. So that's DNS. Now there's different types of DNS. You can do a reverse lookup, which pretty much gets uh, it's the opposite of what I just did. So you'll start off with uh, the IP address of two hundred and eight, two hundred fifteen, one hundred seventy-nine dot one hundred thirty-nine, and then you're gonna get the address of Cybex www.cybex.com. So there you go. 
you can see it right there let's move on to the next one uh, I only have one like two more so one more after this one this one is oh, come on focus it's not focusing but it's uh, let's see let's see it's NTP network time protocol there you go it's port number is one two three that's very simple network time protocol so just think about one two three so it is a network protocol that is optimized for synchronizing clocks between computer over the internet so it it synchronizes computers with its internal clock so that's how all these computers are able to communicate and know when who said who sent what at what time so think of network time protocol and the last one for today is gonna be TFTP trivia file transfer protocol this one is on port 69 it is a handy protocol because it provides no security and it is used to simple simplify in operations TFTP is used for boot computers over the network with pre-boot execution environment also known as PXE and it is also used to transfer software images from network devices such as a router or switch it is used it is a UDP listen for requests on port 69 so that is FTP now that is all for today and remember you guys I would like to give out a big shout out to the channel called Professor Messer subscribe to Professor Messer or go to his website at www.professormesser.com